Hello everyone, welcome back to Napoleon Total War this lovely weekend. Well, there's light. Whether or not there'll be sun, especially in this country, is difficult to say. Anyway, a slight aside, let's give you a quick update on where we are with the campaign on the peninsula. And you can see here that the French have taken Badajoz, or whatever the hell it's called. And you can see they've got a small army there, so we can probably do some damage to them. They are damaging my other stuff and things of that nature. So um, it's not too bad. We have our allies with a couple of reasonably nice-ish armies, but the interior here is the real problem. Um, obviously, we've got large-ish armies in there as well. So these are things that we can consider. Now, obviously, we've got this guy, which is probably, yep, it's Car Beresford. Now, he's got a lovely army, pretty full, and obviously we're waiting for some replenishment to occur. Now, we should also have the redoubtable and wonderful Mr. Nosy. There he is, Arthur Wellesley, who actually found fame from this campaign in real life. So, um, prior to his attack in Waterloo and the battle and all that kind of stuff, this is where he won his fame with the general public of England. So, hmm, indeed. So, let's see. That could, they could do with an extra person, really. Now, you've got a Spanish nine-pounder, but I don't have any howitzers. That's the only pity. So, you can see footline infantry, but we do have the ability... To have King's German Legion. So they're 790 compared to 774. So let's have some of them. And then that will fill in uh, the final aspect of this particular um, group. Now you can see here that we've not got any replenishment going on. Because we've actually done a raid and we're in enemy territory. Now you can see it might be worth us considering a raid onto this guy because we've got a provocateur in there and he doesn't have a great army most of its militia and we could use that to take La Mancha back that also means then for example we can then start building their construction site all that kind of stuff and we can start pushing back on the interior and there's this area here as well so we've got this area here now, over here by this area down here, you can see, obviously, there's our friends, and we've got this area here as well. Now, if we move down, here we go, look at this. You can see a very small Brit army basically acting as an indicator as to what's going on. Now, we are adding to those guys, just to add a few little troops, but... They are supported up by a very small army, but with a relatively large Spanish army in that area. So, it's not too bad in that regard. Now, if we look at our recruitment, see, foot artillery, foot artillery. What does the Court of Appeals give us? It gives us 20% bonus, repression, recruitment capacity training 1, and a military academy... Gives us lots of stuff that we can train with. Generals become available for recruitment at a moderate rate. Increases the number of generals. So that would be helpful. But to be honest, we only really have the money for um, a single... or well, two armies, really, at this current moment. And I don't really want to push my luck by putting more in there. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to bring Young Nose here. The Mighty Nose. Now, let's see where our territory is. Our territory is here. So, we could attack then and then maybe retreat here to replenish. So, let's go in for an attack. Now, he's got 414, 4114 and we've got 472. But his is mostly regiment of foot, Spanish and militia. Some lights, but no artillery. We have artillery and he has two horse. Chasseurs à cheval. Yes, my pronunciation and my accent in French is terrible. Get used to it, boys and girls. Get used to it. Francois Joseph Lefebvre. 
I, I presume. I don't know. I don't know. I can hardly... You know me. I can hardly speak English, let alone French, for God's sake. Anyway, let's have a look. The Battle of, yeah, Real. We'll just call it Real. It's just easier. So I don't assassinate any other languages. More so than I do already. Anyway. Francois. So you can see we're sort of laid out quite well here. Now, let's see if we can... First things first. Let's make that nice and big. Um, let's see if we can find a good position. Now, I don't think that we're going to get a better position than there for the cannon. See, the cannon's pretty central. Yeah, it's not going to get any better than that. So we could move them up to here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll move them up to that little hill. Now, what we'll then do is we'll have a look at our smaller regiments who don't have as many people. Let's see. 250. So these two guys here. Move them out of the way. Yeah, so the lights, including that one, will have to go into light infantry mode, so to speak. You can see them there. Yeah, that. And we'll leave them like that for the time being. Now, what we will need, we've got Clippity Clops over on the far side. So what I think is we'll put them up there so that they've got that chance to... Actually, can they go up even further? Yes, they can, actually. Let's put them up there so they've got the opportunity to charge into battle as quickly as possible. Because as you guys know, if you've watched enough of these battles, I love having flanking cavalry because it's so helpful. You can get them in behind the enemy and outflank them and cause them major, major issues. So, see, what I'm thinking is that we'll have the smaller one here with two regiments behind it. And we'll call that number two. And then we'll have the larger one over here and we'll put three regiments behind that one like so is that right? I hope so no, that's more than three selected so that's one, two one, two three and then put them behind like that and turn them into group three. So we've got group two. These fellows over here. A little bit side locked, but and group three over here on the side. In fact, that should all have been group three there. There we go. Yep, there we go. So a nice collection. there now put them as group one. Oh, we can't because they're only a single now let's see we'll put these guys here we'll put these guys here now what we need is some regiments on one side these guys are pretty low so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave them there as reinforcements with nosy and these guys here, yeah, see there, yeah, these these guys will be right here. So we'll have a line here. They've only got 215, so we'll put them there as well. And we've got these guys as well here. So we've got a good spread of regiments there. And we don't really have to worry about any artillery, except for sneezing. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, and I'm still snotty and horrible. How wonderful is that? Oh, just glorious. Love it. Oh. My apologies for those of you watching as I get all snotty and horrible. But, you know, you guys are used to it. Anyway. 
Where's Nose? Nose is there. Right, so let's reform our ideas and get an idea of what's going on over there. Let's see, over here, yeah, that's all right. We've got one in the middle. And we've got support down by Nosey, haven't we? So, what I think we'll do is we'll put young Mr. Nose here. And then we will move these guys here as well. Keep an eye on the nose. Like so. And here we go. Let's get in the way then, shall we? And then get these guys to move up on one flank. And then over here on one side, we'll have five regiments. Wow, that's a lot of regiments. Move up on that side. And we'll have the horses move up there. Fantastic. Okay, so let's get to the cannon. And move them to there. Let's move those guys to there. And let's move these guys to here. Get them to run. Get them to run. So they'll get into position early. rest of the guys can just stay walking. These guys going to be a problem, but, you know, we've got options in the centre here. These guys will run off because they're in uh, skirmish mode, and then these guys can go into square should the horses start to push too far. What I might do is consider putting these two guys into square as soon as they get there because of a potential rush through the center by the horse. You can see here all these horses. That's my concern right now. So they should be arriving soon. There we go. Now the general's over here, that's interesting. So let's move these guys up a little bit. I'm not sure why that's doing that weird formation. We'll probably have to reset them. So group them and ungroup them. There we go. Here we are now unlimbering. Let's put them into square straight away. Meanwhile, you've got these guys down the side. We've got this regiment here. We'll leave in reserve. And you've got these two regiments. And these guys here. Let's get these guys moved up to about here, I think. There we go. The cannons are underway. They look to be pushing to the left flank, which is interesting because that's where we're going to have a large majority of a five regiments, really. So that could be unfortunate for them. Let's see how our boys are getting on. Now, for those of you who are wondering why the cannon, why this camera is not shaking, I have actually modified the config files so that it removes the camera shake. I used to find it very distracting and rather annoying. So you can reduce that. Now. Not sure why I moved them that far out. 
But let's get them to the... And let's get them running. Might tie them out, but here we go. See, look. Yeah, they're pushing a majority of this section here. So... You can see now... If we canonize these guys... Let's do a bombarding. Glorious victories, huh? On the it's side soon there. to be yours. These guys are all moving into position. Let's run them in. Because of these guys here. That's my real concern there. These guys, militia. Get the cannon to engage them. Put them into square just to be on the safe side. And this group into square as well. So those guys have had a massive morale break on them. There we go. So we can hose down these guys. Yep, those guys are doing good. What we do is we'll move in these guys here. There we go, they've broken. Fantastic, just what we were after. What we might do is move these guys over to one side. Let's see, where are these guys? Here we go. Let's move these guys up as well. So these guys can come out of square now because we dealt with the horses in that area. These guys are still dealing with the horse there. guys out of square and move them up get these guys bombarded so they're doing okay These guys continue to push the advantage, but these guys here are in danger of being outflanked. Let's bring these guys in quickly. Let's bring these guys in as well. Yeah, we'll find. Let's bolster the centre here. Because of that. Let's move these guys back a little bit. Still travel by horse? No, they're not. Let's get them out of that then. Let's get the cannon engaging this gaggle of troops here. There we go, that regiment's now moved in. push these guys up as well away from develop, uh, defending the cannon the cannon can still engage this 
bunch in the center here. Let's get two moved up. And let's get three moved up as well. They're already moving up. Good. So it looks like we made the right decision. We've got five regiments holding the line on the left flank. And the rest of the regiments now moving into position to attack and follow up on them. guys and pull them back a little bit because they're being flanked let's move these guys in to there and we'll take these guys and move them to there so that they can engage those guys who are, look to be doing an outflanking maneuver in the meantime we'll continue the cannon fire here as you can see, the rest of the army is starting to push up. I'm not sure why they're facing that way. Never mind. Oh, look, there's the general. That horsey gen it is horsey general. Right, what we're going to do is going to move them into there, and then we're going to put them to square very quickly, so that they can attack him. And hopefully, we can get a kill on that general, which would be very nice indeed. Damn it, he's moving. guys in behind get those guys to shoot get those guys stabbing whoops a daisy square quickly oh god I hope they made it no they didn't damn it go in and stab please I think it's also a case of that I've not used my horses in any way, shape, or form. So the men are fatigued, sir. Yes, I know they are. Away. Shut up. Let's get them in to kill the general. Come on, my boys. Where are you? They, they have not broken, and these guys have not broken. Move them into there. Get the general, please. Rest of the army has broken. Stab, please. Get these guys on the end to attack. There we go. Horses have hit the general. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Perfect. Right, also, we can now run these guys in behind. There we go. One general down. Splash one general, I believe is the term. Cannons can stop firing. They've still got some horses here, haven't they? Looks like the general's reforming. There we go, quick, put them into square. That should finish them off. Come on, form square, guys, come on. 
good boys. Put these guys there to make sure that we finish them off in their entirety. As you can see now that we've held the centre, the centre is breaking completely. Which is exactly what we were after. Not happy with that organisation there. Kill as many of them as we can as they flee. There we go, there goes what remains of the general staff. Taking pot shots at some of the remainders. And what's this over here? Oh, hello. Vortigare. Well, I think it's only fair that we go and say hello to the Vortigare. We won't risk nosing. Because the thing is, from what I understand, if for whatever reason you lose nosy on the peninsula, he will not return. So we cannot take that risk of losing the nose. So this is going to be a problem because they've got to come all the way down there. Right, let's see. Let's get number three. Over to there. Number two even. And these look to be lights. Very quiet. Looks almost bored. Won't be bored for long though. Because then the rest of your army has routed. They're confident and fresh but concerned the general's dead. Well, I would hope so. So, our horses. Here they are. They should be they've been running. Lazy horses. Impetuous. Oh dear, that's always dangerous. Let's follow these guys, shall we? Oh look, a fifty clock. through the woods. Making their way through the wooded area. They should be running. And the boys. to get these guys to here. My fine lobster back boys, look at that. Oh, look, they've broken. They're running. Oh no, they've rallied. No, it's all over. Let's continue, let's kill them. It's only fair. Excuse me, gentlemen, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. Oh, now they've broken again. I really hope they're not going to get off the battlefield before my horses arrive. That would be somewhat annoying. Charge, gentlemen, charge. Not through my, not through my regiment, please. Regiment over here. Run over here, regiment. Run over here. Yes, For that reason. Ugh. Silly regiment. Even sillier horses. Come on. Come on. I don't think we're going to make it. Voltigares are going to survive, much to my chagrin. 
My chagrin. Yeah, they're going to do it. Damn it! Curse them. Curse them all to hell. And they're literally just behind. Look at them. Just fleeing the battlefield. Oh well. At least we won. So it's not a bad thing under the circumstances and we should have taken that location. Look at that. He only killed 300. Oh God. So we 300 team kills or no 500 there. So only 100. That's actually not too bad. There we go. We shall peacefully occupy. Region has been captured. La Mancha. So we have now recaptured La Mancha, which is excellent nose. Excellent nose indeed. Right, let us repair that. And let us, what should we put in? A musket manufacturer or a gunsmith? Right, let's see what the difference is in. 250. Recruitment plus 3%. Let's put in the manufactory because then that will help generate more funds for us. We're repairing that. There's a small army. And so the interior is on its way to being recaptured, which is the kind of situation that we're after. Now, we need to deal with these guys here. Now, granted, they're only a small number, but Carl Beresford is going to be the guy to do it. Now, let's find out where Carl Beresford is. Here we go. So, here is Monsieur Bereford. And we need to send him and his redoubtable forces over to here. And that's going to take at least three turns to get to there, and then probably another two turns to get to Bad Jaws. So, yeah, that's going to be tricky. We'll have to wait and see how that turns out, but I will be confident of success. Let us move to the next turn. Right, that should be units recruited in Gibraltar, German foot, good. So let's just see. Six pounder, nine pounder, night dragoons, night dragoons, dragoons. I want more cav. Let's get some more cav in there and then keep him in there. Okay. Another cannon to join him. Just to provide us with a little bit of verisimilitude, I believe the term is. So. There is Nosy. Now. He can only have Spanish Provincial Militia, which is a problem. And, mm -hmm, yeah. Let's get Car Beresford up to here. So he's going to move up as well. And he's staying sort of in that area because then he can replenish his numbers. We've got Nosy here. And you can see now there's quite a few substantial agents in there. Can't really do much about that. Yeah, we could really do with upgrading some of these roads, but, you know, to be honest, it's not really a major issue. But you can see we've got that point, and now we're closing in there. And the Spanish are doing a good job. In this sort of area here. So down here in Gibraltar. You can see we're recruiting two horsey. 
and there's a legion foot so we might send those up to support mosey and you know car bears doesn't need any reinforcements it's just nosy who needs some and he really needs more cavalry because these guys they're like cavalry but they're not they're not really that great so let's see can we put them into there yep what numbers can we do hmm Do any kind of merging here? No, they're all numbered up there. There we go, it's better. Let's put that number into there. Trying to make as many sort of large-ish regiments as we can to sort of counteract any sort of problems. Lights obviously is an issue. We've only got 20 of them. We've got 240 there, so that's not too bad. But we could do with more cannon, but we don't have an option for recruiting cannon in that area. Now, if I remember rightly, I do believe we can recruit cannon down here and then send them up to here. That's not outside of the realms of possibility. But, in the meantime, there's that one. He can only recruit militia, so we're not going to bother with that. We're not going to bother with that. There's a Portuguese provocateur. And this guy then. So let's end the turn there. Hmm. Oh, an agent has been recruited. Provocateur, where? Ah, here we go. Now, let's see. Infrastructure, no construction. A court of justice. What will that give us? Repression, 15% tax rate. And we can start recruiting. The question is, do I want to do that? The only drawback is now, you see... What I'm tempted to do now, I'm, I'm probably going to lose that to that army. But I can't really do any recruiting, there's no point in me wasting money really. I'm going to have to hope that Car Beresford can get into here, and then from there we'll go to there. So let's get Car up to here. And he will stay there for a turn. We are probably going to lose there. Now, nose. Let's have a look at the nose. How's he doing? He's doing all right. Now, let's put a clearance in here because that will give us more money. And what we might consider doing... Yeah, we've got to leave him there because of that replenishment. There's not really much we can do to assist this guy here. Maybe Car Beresford. Yes, sir. Can do it next time. Let's go for that one now. So it could be that the Spanish are going to take that one and then we can move over to that one. So let's see. We've got 1274. Um, oh, Spanish down there. Good. Let's send these guys up to the nose. 
So that's going to take, what, at least three turns for them to get there. So, we can't really do much there at the moment. Can we upgrade the roads here? Yes, we can. Let's do that. That will help increase the general speed of things. Can't do it there. Let's end the turn. Bingo. Spanish are taking that. Aston Leak. Spy, doing good. Construction also. So you can see now that this central area that we were going to go for has now been taken. Which means we can move Carberis with up to here. Now let's see what's here. Is it that area there? No, it's that area there, isn't it? Hmm. So if we move Carberis with up that way, we can kick somebody out of there. Ready and, awaiting orders. and then send our boys along to go and deal with Nueva. And hopefully cause some trouble off the back of that. Now, Mr. Beresford is continuing, sorry, Nosy, continuing to replenish his troops. Let's put a court of justice in there. Will help. Now, let's see, that's cannons. Anything we can do there, no great estates. That'll help you generate more money next time round. And let's see. Hmm. Okay, so at least the Spanish have sort of taken that area, which I believe, yep, yeah, there we go, Badajoz. So that's good. That means our allies are actually doing something. I'm sure it will. So, we shall send him to there. If I actually know, we'll send him to there. We'll send this guy up to Salamancha. He's got a very roundabout route. He can't go through the mountains, which is a shame. So, actually, can we put him there? Let's put him in there, because that's a banking house. But hopefully once we uh, get the army up to here, then we can kick that person out, that small regiment there out, and then we can start pushing back in that direction. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been this week's episode of Napoleon Total War, the Peninsula Campaign for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you have a pleasant weekend. I'll see you next time.